Hello, my name is Mr. Cropper. Thank you for taking the time to find out more about Cropper Lyceum. I want to talk for a moment about our philosophy of education at Cropper Lyceum. Uh, we believe that knowledge is developed in a hierarchy. Some ideas are needed to understand more advanced ideas or concepts. Most schools today, public and private alike, fail to respect the hierarchy of ideas. As an example, some schools teach students that nuclear war is evil and that man-made pollution is ruining the planet before they even teach them the history of the United States, for example. Indeed, some schools never even get around to teaching the history of the United States because they spent all their time indoctrinating the child in environmentalism. That's the state of education today. At Cropper Lyceum, we believe that in order for the child to learn to think for himself, the teacher must always explain and give supporting evidence for any claim. Using this approach, the child is never confronted with the situation where he must accept the teacher's seemingly false assertions. In other words, the student is never told, it's true because I say so. Authoritarianism at Cropper Lyceum is out. Now, one of the most important contributions to educational methods that take account of hierarchical knowledge are the writings of Maria Montessori. Yeah, she lived from 1870 to 1952. Many people have heard the term Montessori education or Montessori schools, but most do not know what it means. So in the simplest terms, Montessori education focuses on giving the child perceivable, concrete, real-world learning tools in the early years. Maria Montessori discovered by careful observation that the child's senses and thinking skills are directly tied to his experiences in reality. Nearly all knowledge at this early stage must come from the five senses. With a firm foundation in basic education, the child will soon be ready to deal with more abstract concepts and themes, and he will be prepared for them, having properly developed his cognitive faculty. So we use Montessori education principles in the early years of the kindergarten and early grades. And the reason for that is because they have such valuable material in the early grades. And I believe that in the later grades it's less valuable. But in the early grades there is some very valuable stuff, so it will be a Montessori school for kindergarten, first, second, third grade. So call for uh, an interview today. Uh, let's get you set up with your kid.